Hello, friends. Welcome to Merc Driver Channel. Uh, today we are going to uh, working on a uh, transfer case chain. Um, come to the junkyard and uh, get a donor vehicle. This one is uh, 2007 ML350. Now, by saying transfer case, it's supposed to be a uh, formatic, right? So we're going to work on take the uh, transfer case chain out. Now, this is a typical design fault of uh, any um, W163, W164, and X164, uh, even the R series van um, in the era from 1998 to 2011-2012 um, uh, era. They use the same transfer case if it's a formatic and uh, they will have the problem of a loosened chain. So what we are going to do is we are going to try to get, pull the chain out of this vehicle. And by doing so, you will know how to uh, actually working on installation sorry about the noise and uh, working at the uh, junkyard so we got lucky here and the reason I'm saying so is uh, someone already disconnected the uh, rear drive shaft they loosened the supporting bearing supporting bearing bracket so that I do not need to loosen those bolts anymore because the game plan is to loosen all the bolts around okay but for in order to get the chain out pull the cover you have to pull the cover off right in order to pull the cover off and this has to be disengaged the disc and this this jointing area here now luckily we have a loosened drive chain a uh, drive shaft rear drive shaft so we don't need to loosen the those bolts anymore we don't need to loosen the supporting bearing bracket anymore so what it left for us is only those E tens all around there are like twenty uh, twenty of them loosen that and uh, we are going to expose to the chain. I'm going to show you after I loosen the boot and pull this cover off. Okay. Okay. We loosen up all the bolts I did not count okay now there are, after that there are two tab you can use a screw, long screwdriver to ply off some wires here the other is in this area you ply it you will loosen separate the transfer case cover uh, I'm going to check on the oil. Uh, I think they uh, dumped the oil already, but just double check. And then I'm going to open this cover. It will be very helpful if you have a ratchet, an actual ratchet. And this, you can see, is a long bolt, especially in this uh, kind of working environment and the uh, hot temperature this is really helpful okay we separated the cover but guess what 
we run out of luck on this one you see the chain see this is loose this is a stretched chain we cannot use this one we have to find another donor vehicle okay stay tuned we are not there yet but we are not giving up either Okay, we found another one. This is a 2009 uh, R350. Uh, it has the transfer case as for medic. It has the transfer case as well. So, already set it up. Work on it. Now I'm under the vehicle, and we run into more challenges uh, than what we're got uh, had uh, last week called the ml 350 uh, remember i told you that the someone else already um, disengaged the rear differential from the uh, rear drive shaft now this one is intact and you see how well the r 350 are covering up in order for us to separate the transfer case we have to disengage and loosen those bolts and that's not good enough we actually have to loosen this supporting bearing bracket so we have a wiggle room get that uh, now we really get um, more work to do now. Okay, but let's work on it. Okay, we successfully separated the rear drive shaft with the transfer case. Now it's quite some work. Uh, why I say so? okay i end up with uh, remove there is a bracket supporting bracket this piece here remove another loosen another bracket right here behind the uh, supporting bearing and in order to loosen those Bolts. You have to, uh, have to somehow lock the drive shaft, right? Otherwise, it keeps rotating. You either lock that uh, tire or lock the drive shaft. Okay. Now, what left is the easy work. We just loosen up those bolts all around we're going to be able to separate and then the, the transfer kit cover get access to the uh, chain hopefully hopefully figure crossed um, this time the chain is good Okay, uh, we open the transfer case, but you know what? It's a bad one again. We run out of luck. This is to say, um, don't try, don't try to get a uh, used uh, transfer case chain uh, from a used vehicle. Just buy a new one. It's about uh, 90 bucks uh, on eBay. Go get one. I'm not going to uh, work on uh, separate the transfer case cover, get this chain anymore. Okay. Anyway, just to show you how to get off the, uh, get down to the transfer case key, uh, transfer case chain, so you know how to do it yourself. <laughs> 